When it comes to mocking a RESTful API for our Angular applications, we have multiple options, including using the Angular in-memory web API. However, I am going to recommend using JSON server because it is very easy and very fast to set up. So what we are going to do is we are going to npm install JSON server, and then we are going to install another npm package called concurrently, which will allow us to run um, JSON server and the um, server to run our local Angular application. And it's going to run both server using the same alias inside of our script object, okay? So what I would like you guys to do is to go ahead and run npm install for the dev environment. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. We're gonna run npm i dash capital D, which is dash out save dev for our dev dependency, JSON server and concurrently, okay? Um, this obviously is gonna be a dev dependent because we obviously we only need it in the development environment, right? So then once that's done installing, go ahead and in the root of your app, create a directory called server and then create a file called db.json. And then, as you can see here, in my db.json file, I went ahead and seeded uh, some data, right, in the form of a JSON object. This passengers here is the name of the endpoint, okay? So create whatever endpoint name you want and whatever shape of data uh, that, would, that you would expect to come back from the server on the server side, okay? And then inside of the script object, go ahead and create a server task and then have json-server run this file here, server db.json because it's pointing to this directory and this file, okay? So that, that takes care of our server task, right? And then create another task you can certainly call it whatever you want, but in, in my case, I call it server all. It's kind of semantic to me, right? And then go ahead and say concurrently, because we install the package called concurrently down here. And then uh, the backslash is just to escape the double quotation mark. So we're gonna run this task up here, this process here, and then we're gonna do the ng serve like we, we normally do with uh, Angular, right? And this dash O, that's O as an Oscar, not zero, O as an Oscar to open up the uh, browser to port 4200. And that is pretty much it in terms of setup, right? And then if you look at the terminal, so when you run npm run server all is going to go ahead and start the uh, the web server to run your, our Angular app and then the uh, API server on port 3000 and that's our endpoint there. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the endpoint. Okay, passenger, again, once again, just to be very clear, okay, that's our endpoint passenger because in the db.json file, we named that endpoint um, passengers, right? So here is what the shape of the data looks like. Okay. By the way, this is documentation for a JSON server. And then here is our app. And let's go to the network tab to see the response. See, we, we have two, uh, two, two pieces of data there. By the way, JSON server, it uh, supports 
all the HTTP verbs. Okay, and you can also test it out on Postman. Okay, so Postman, I'm listening to this endpoint here. Okay, I'm going to send a GET request. And then uh, to test it out, you can also do a POST. Okay, to test the POST request, I'm going to send another object with Captain Alatriste as the name. Okay, you've got a 201. Let's go look at our database. And there's the Capitan Aletriste. Okay, we can also, oh wait, let's, uh, let's look at the, uh, the app first. So in the Angular app, I already have a call to the GET request. So there's the Capitan. Okay, you can see the object there. And then let's look at our endpoint. All right, so we're good to go there. Now you can also delete this by either calling it in your code, calling delete in your code, or you can test it here on, in Postman. Let's say, let's say, let's delete the captain. Okay, ID is four. Send. Got a two hundred back. Let's go check our database, and he's gone. Okay, if you're a seasoned software engineer, you know why this is important. Uh, however, if you're new to Angular, you're new to front-end development, if you're new to software development in general, uh, having a uh, mock REST API to work with is immensely useful because you're not getting blocked by uh, the lack of a real endpoint. Your mock endpoint can match the shape of the data that your server-side team is working on. And so that you can continue to work on the front end while the back end team is putting the uh, API together, right? So you won't get blocked. Okay, uh, if you guys need me to um, to help you uh, write the uh, Angular HTTP client, uh, all the verbs, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.